on Daybreak, this weekend, Indianapolis is playing host to a national rhythmic gymnastics competition. It is today through Sunday, southeast side of the city. Brenda Donnelly took a look inside to show us what it's all about. Brenda? Yeah, it's like a gymnastics dance competition. You trade your balance beams and vault for hoops, ribbons, and ropes and add in well, a lot more style. This is their season ending performance, and everyone in Indy has an open invitation to come watch. Rhythmic gymnastics is a sport that entails agility, balance, strength, beauty, dance, flexibility, and handling, so eye hand coordination. A must have when you're dancing with spinning clubs, a hoop. A rope or a ribbon or ball, but when you can pull it off with style and grace, you feel good, definitely tired. Isa is from Boston and came to Indianapolis this weekend to end her season on a high note. Two first, two thirds, and then first all around. She started in artistic gymnastics with a balance beam and uneven bars. One of my friends was doing it and she got me into it. And then I didn't really like the tumbling part of it. I liked more of the flexibility. So I decided I would come back and try it again. This time she tried rhythmic gymnastics and it stuck. I think it's very expressive. They can, um, they have the opportunity to pick their own music, um, incorporate their own choreography. So it brings out their personality and their love of the sport. There's also a competition without an apparatus where the costumes and moves are center stage. Also, the smile, something not as easy to hold up when you're working out. I think it's difficult for some people. It's probably easier, but I tend to be look a little more focused doing my routines, so I have to try harder to look more expressive and like I'm actually dancing. Issa is done for the weekend, but more than 100 other girls will compete through Sunday at the gymnastics company off South Franklin Road. Very cool. Tickets are $10 for adults, $5 for kids and teens. Now, they also have information there on how to sign up for rhythmic gymnastic classes across the state. Several of them, guys, do take all age groups. We'll see if there's a little spike in participation after all this. <laughs> Brenda, thank you. Uh,